Did they even put it on? There's a lot of stuff that I don't want to show, so just, like, why would they want to show me that, so? By the way, just so you know, I'm just gonna get, like, I searched up intense music. Yeah. Not stuff enough. Not thinky enough. Mm. Yeah, please don't look at my search it to Jesus! I, I think the song that I just got was... Yeah. So like, so like, he's done 
dinosaur that can take a that can take a decent amount of hits. Now of course that can be like an invulnerable. Fight force. The, the amount of the amount of force that can be put on a like PSI, like like pressure like biting down on something that cause like yeah. I Q Q focus so like focus attention attention problem solving skills senses sight hearing taste touch and smell get it and then we'll get a hybrid a first now it's time for our first first component the iterator why? The reason why I chose this kind of sword, sword over the other, because it has, it doesn't, it lacks a lot of a spine, so it gives, allowing, allowing for, for better, like, less surface area to bite on. A lot of powerful legs can make it so it can. <laughs> Propel itself forward by kicking in the water. Oh, and it even provides some some good weaponry with the claws. Wait, why is this component over here? Oh, it's supposed to. Now in for Enchantia. This is basically like locomotive because inside I didn't know where to put this, so I just put it over here. Like in Goji Sender's video on the ultimate source where he created a actually viable creation. Oh there's a time to switch to music again. I'm starting this one's starting to get a bit repetitive. Why are they called dippers? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got it. Jesus! I don't it want these empty. stupid ads. Most men believe that women are too weak to compete. What is... What is that? Okay, let's just forget about that I ever... To see what that was. <sighs> oh my god. Gonna kill me. Okay, let's just put that on. Anyways, this allows for the chain Janjentia could get up on the fours or walk on can get up and just be on all fours most of the time. Or be on or be uh, on two legs when the situation is needed. This is called a five biped effect. Now for weaponry. Also we have a Velociraptor for 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 claws enhancement and and of course long claws uh, for the feet. And we have the T-Rex for bite force. So we have a base to work on when you get to actual bite force.
Okay, after cleaning my closet, I can get back to the video. I probably still have to. Yeah. Has, anyways, the T Rex has a good base for the jaw. As in, it's the strongest, and we can make it stronger with a few tweaks. Durability. Gastoni now. The reason why I picked Gastonia is for a multitude of reasons. We need some we need decent armor that doesn't impair pair any that doesn't impair, you know no speed or anything. And, but I still need a good in between. And it even and I picked Gastonia because it seems as it doesn't have that heavy of armor. And we can still put something on the tail if we want. And at the tip of the tail, I meant to. I meant to, since there's no tail club. Because, well, the size, at the size that we're trying to get this thing, a tail club would be impractical. So we got. So instead, we got a bunch of spikes. You know, which even adds to weapon. The weapon that we put. And a belly sword, it's in, it has like children or something, and it was used for durability in the Dungus Rex. So it just got here since it probably has the strongest hide of any fair pod. And Cory of a sword, and now it's Bite Force. Cory of a sword, that time they add on to our T Rex Bite Force. Cory of a sword, now like Kyoji's up there, and there was like muscle attachment. There's a good base for muscle attachment in the foil of the Dungus Rex or something. The um, ultima, Ultimasaurus, Ultimasaurus, sorry. And so I added, so I, so I added this right here. This is a good place for muscle attachment, and I can increase my force. Prey that's usually bigger than their own, than their own selves. They de I decided to go, and they need to open their mouths really wide, which they do. Because looking at because a snake can open its mouth really really wide. Ride. And, and that means that that our dinosaur can control can control how wide it wants its mouth and how wide it needs to clamp down. How wide it how wide it's gonna open its mouth when it clamps down. Which means it can adjust its its so how wide its jaw is to the perfect point for extreme for it extreme bite force and now time for the factory forgot size Argentinosaurus not only is really big, but 
but has air sacs that increase stamina and also make it so its size is viable. Now, using some refined techniques, we're gonna we control the size of our hybrid to a to to be bigger, to be practical, to be bigger than the Dominus Rex's max size, which is 50 feet. It, but also make it practical. So, or, so we'll give it around 50, 59 to 60 feet tall. And also, raptors are pretty fast, and um, I guess, and I'm pretty certain gen Genty has a long stride length, which means size and size and stride length would or or that an extreme size and stride length or an or insane combo when it comes to speed. As in being big means your legs are bigger and can cover more space, which means this dino sword will take long strides to catch up long strides to catch up with its prey, giving Get a good speed. Probably around some. Probably. Probably a bit. Probably slower than a Team Rex, but not that slow. I mean, all oh, for all I know, it might be higher. It might be faster than a T Rex. Yeah. T Rex. Oh. T Rex. Because, well. But prob but not but even if it was it would not be that faster. Since it has its limitations such as slightly sluggish or movements. Oh, and also back to Indentia. If it it can and since it can go on fours, it can orient it itself in, in different positions. Like if it went on all fours, it can like it like if it went on, it can go on all fours, lower its body, and go, curl, and go in a curl position, and, fa and face its protected side and upper body, and body, and, and kind of like a lean towards the, its back towards the predator, predator. Oh, and, oh. Did you know that T-Rexes are extremely smart, have good vision, and are pack hunters, and can discern the weakness of their prey, combined with Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Intelligence. We get a creature that can, dis that can find the weak spots, attack, attack, have a tactical mind. Tactical minds can... I mean, T-Rexes have an intelligence comparable to a baboon. They're not the smartest, but they're definitely, but that's it's definitely extremely impressive. And there's a lot of other things that, smart things that T-Rexes can do. Leave with us with a, with a viable creature. With a, with a viable creature. Now, in the next part, we're gonna see what it looks like what it looks like in and what fight and then we're gonna analyze fights between it and other dinosaurs and how and how and how the fight would go down now if you like now if you like that video you like and like Check out other videos if this is their first time. Oh, and I'm not begging, and it's completely fine if you don't subscribe. And it's completely fine if you don't subscribe. If you, and it's completely fine if you don't subscribe. I can understand. And but besides that, fire's handle out.